It's raining and we're getting ready to tour this Eichler. This one has so many surprises. First of all, it was built in 1973. Second of all, it is a gallery model. Third of all, it's on a lot that is almost 12,000 square feet. It opens up, it's a pie shape in the back and it opens up just immense. It's a four bedroom, two bath house, which is bigger than a lot of the very early Eichlers that were built. Come on in and let's have a look. Tell me what you think. This house is located in Sunnyvale and it has the great good fortune of being in a cul-de-sac. As we look around, we can see that it was built at the same time as all of the other Eichlers. That's one of the ways that Eichler essentially kept the cost down, was to build multiples. Not only would you be getting a great mid-century home, but you would be buying into a community, and you and all of your neighbors would essentially be facing the same joy and some of the same challenges when it comes to your house. When we go inside, we're greeted by a hallway with a skylight over us, this is one of the more formal entryways that we're not used to seeing in some of the courtyard or the atrium model Eichlers. And then bam, we're struck by the clear story glass, the post and beam construction, and the mostly open floor plan that has some graceful cutouts and sight lines to the other parts of the house. We can see the formal living room and then into the kitchen, then the fireplace that anchors the living area of the home. Then we come to the second formal living area and the formal dining area. But the real star of the show are the apexes to the roof that are filled in with glass. They draw the eye upward and they provide natural light. They make the post and beam construction and the size of the house the focal point the entire time. The kitchen is in its original spot and enjoys its original layout, but it has been modernized. One of the benefits of being a later model Eichler is that the kitchen is big. And then, tucked into the corner, look what I found. Here you are, in the full walk-in pantry. Nice. So in this house, not only do you have a formal dining space and also a large kitchen, but you have an eat-in area as well. In addition, you have access to the backyard and we have a separate coffee station. Then there's a huge surprise for an Eichler, and that is a dedicated separate laundry room. In some Eichlers, the laundry room is in the hallway, and in some it's in the garage, but here you have a separate dedicated room. This house sits on a lot that's almost 12,000 square feet. That's much bigger than most of the other Eichler lots that we've toured. You have room for a whole lot of entertaining, and maybe even a pool in the backyard if that's something that appeals to you. In the middle of this house is a two-sided brick fireplace. And while it is large, because you can see through it, there's sort of an optical illusion that it's a little bit smaller or more airy than it would first seem. Hey, you know what? If you like touring mid-century homes, if you would consider subscribing to my channel, I would love that. Off the main living area, we have the primary suite. And I am delighted to say that this is genuinely a primary suite. So we have an enormous bedroom with access to the backyard. Beautiful ceilings still in place. Obviously the ceiling is still in place, but the architecture of it is really beautifully featured. access to the backyard. And then behind this first door that you could close and the door that you could close off is a full wall of closets, a private water closet room and a double vanity with a mirror and outdated lighting on the top. And of course, a skylight. This room has the water closet, the toilet, and 
a rather spacious shower. And this one has a sunken pan. I almost feel like they have taken the time to get this recoated and retextured and just painted it white. I believe that that's what they've done here. That's why when you see the shower and you think that it's lower, it's actually ensconced in the tile and then the floor pan is actually a step down. While this side is the public living side, over here to my left represents the private family quarters. In behind this separate door, you have kind of a little compound and it's made up of three bedrooms that are quite similar in size and a hall bath. These bedrooms are clean and two of them, as you can see, are not staged. It really is kind of a trick to the eye because when rooms are not staged, they actually appear smaller than they are in real life. And you would think that it was the opposite of that. You would think that if there were a number of furniture pieces that the room would look smaller and more cluttered, but somehow our eye requires some furniture or some groupings to break up the lines. Otherwise we just naturally look across the floor into the other wall and it seems closer than it actually is. In the third bedroom, we can see that it's staged as an office and also over to the side, there's a Murphy bed combination. This gorgeous blooming magnolia outside, I have a story to tell you about that, so stay tuned. This bathroom has been so gracefully updated. It has modern fixtures, modern lighting, updated sink vanity, and yet there is the original wrinkly sliding pebble texture glass door. This magnolia tree, before we go, was a present from the daughter to the mother that lived here. They were watching Steel Magnolias and they really liked it. And so she gave her a magnolia tree. It's very fitting as we prepare to sell this house that the tree is in bloom. Full circle. If you're interested in this home or any other homes in the area, let me know, reach out. I would love to have a conversation.